welcome back to Paint Me Green. My name is Heather Green, and I thank you for joining me today. Uh, first, I want to say I'm very sorry for the lengthy delay between my last video blog and this one, but I wanted to take some time out to really focus on improving my public speaking skills and making it easier and a faster delivery so that you guys can get the most out of my vlogs. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to everybody that has had the chance to attend my classes. I've been traveling lately. So Austin, uh, Atlanta, uh, um, in Columbus. I'm also heading to Holland next week, so thank you to everybody. And for everybody that attended the Face and Body Art International Convention, thank you guys. I know that was in May, but uh, it was an amazing experience for everybody, and especially for myself that I get to catch up with you guys. So if you haven't already done so, make your way over to the website, to fabiac.com, and start your payment plan. That means there's no reason to miss it next year because it's going to be even bigger, better, more fabulous than it was before. Uh, also, so if you guys like what you see, if you like my vlogs, if you like my video tutorials, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way we keep in contact. And don't forget, if you need me, I am at Silly Farm almost 24-7. So uh, don't forget to reach out to me. That's exactly what I'm here for. So let's get down to business. What is today's vlog all about? Today's vlog is titled, How to Become an Unforgettable Person. How many of you have heard of The Secret or read the book The Secret, seen the movie? How many of you believe in it? Did you know that there's a secret to getting more bookings? And lucky for me, I have the secret, I wrote it down, and I really want to share it with you. Because truthfully, my goal is that each of you grow, prosper, and let art pave the road to financial stability and career happiness more than anything else. Our jobs as painters really bring so much joy to people, so if I can push you and keep you motivated, that's what I want to do. But before I share my secret with you, I want to add this little dic disclaimer. When you see someone, like think about this for a second. When you see someone that you haven't seen in a long time and they lost a lot of weight, the first thing that you ask them is, what was the secret? And really it's no different when you're talking about the secret to more bookings. It really just involves nothing but work. So whether you're trying to lose weight, advance in your career, create a happy marriage or a relationship, the secret is really just work. So I'm gonna talk to you guys for a minute about how you can use the work and dedication to becoming an unforgettable person, which is really what's gonna translate into more bookings for you, which is how you're gonna achieve financial stability. So this is how I discovered the secret to more bookings. Uh, a couple of months ago, I asked John, the Fava TV super producer, uh, to redesign my business cards because, and as you can see here, and basically what was happening before then is that I had four different business cards for the companies that I run. And then when people would ask me, I was having a conversation, and then I would start fumbling for my business cards, and I didn't look as prepared. So then when John redesigned my cards, I decided to put all the logos, all the websites on it, and then I put my face smiling, as you can see, um, on the other side. So for me, that was a way to make a presence and also become unforgettable when they see my cards because it's different. Not only do I have bright colors, but I also have my face uh, along with someone painted on there so that they remember who they were talking to or who they met when they took my card. So let me talk to you a little bit more about that. Your business card is not what makes you an unforgettable person. It's what you do with your business card that makes you an unforgettable person. Studies show whether, I've read a few studies, one from the SBA, one from Entrepreneurship Magazine, that people like doing business with their friends. And the way to make your customers your friends is by going that extra mile and investing in the relationship that you're trying to build. So keep that in mind when you're fine tuning your unforgettableness. I'm not sure if that's a word, but bear with me here. Probably one of the reasons I decided to change my business cards, besides just me being fumbling around in my purse looking for the one, depending on the person I was talking to, comes down to John Place. A couple of months ago, he handed me this card, and it is truly a life changer, I believe. Uh, the, one side of the card says, and I'm quoting this, this certifies that you have had a personal encounter with me and that you found me warm, polite, intelligent, funny, and maybe even a little good looking. This is his card and he gives this to people that he doesn't know. But if you were a normal person and got John's card, wouldn't you just laugh and you would say, oh my God, this guy is so funny. He even put a picture of himself on, on the other side with his information 
information, even on how to spam and stalk him, which for me, even if I didn't know John, but I got this, I would think it's super duper funny. And I would keep it because that creates, that open the door to that unforgettable exposure that he needs in order to get more business coming through his door. So just think about it that way. Working on becoming unforgettable is almost like paving your road and is even more important than being a good painter or being um, speaking 10 languages. Becoming unforgettable is the key, or at least it's my secret. All right, so being unforgettable isn't about looks. It isn't even about intelligence. It's really about the amount of time that you're willing to put into creating long-lasting relationships, making people feel good, and following up on those relationships. Let me give you a recent example. I was uh, at a, on a layover in Atlanta airport, and many of you know that, and many of you know that that's a super big airport with a lot of delays. And I sat down next to a woman in her late 50s, and we just started talking, and we exchanged business cards, and she looked at my card, and she was like, oh my God, I am like a secret closet body painting fan. I'm a lawyer by trade, and I'm also a CPA, but I love body painting. I find it so incredibly fascinating. And I thought that at first she kind of threw me off guard, but I was it, it turned into a really great conversation. So we, we left one another and we exchanged cards. And then that very next day, I sent her an email with a link to the World Body Painting Festival because I thought she would find that interesting, especially if she's a, a closet, like she said, a body painting fan. So she checked out the link, she wrote me back, and she just fell in love with it. So much so that she was like, put it on your calendar. Next year, we're going to Austria together. Let's go enjoy the th Thank you so much for sharing this information with me. So every month, I make myself a little reminder on my Outlook to send her an email at least once a month. And it's not a full email giving her my life background story or even asking her for anything. It's just to build that relationship and keep the door open. Because once, sure, I'd like a travel buddy uh, to go to Europe with. But more than that is that you just never know what opportunity can come to be through it. So fast forward a couple of months later, uh, after several emails back and forth, she sent me an email saying that, hey, I remembered that you do face and body painting for big events and my company is, is hosting 30 different events. Would your company be able to supply the painters for that? And I'm thinking in my head, yes, 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 yes. And she's a lawyer and a CPA. Nowhere in my mind did I think that she was gonna give me 30 bookings, but it turns out that she did. So the reason that she called me instead of going to Google was because I was unforgettable to her. I made that effort every month to check in on her, send her a funny picture, send her a link, show her a new video that I had been, or tell her about a class that I'm teaching. People like to be thought of. So it only takes a few minutes of your time to set up those reminders because you really never know what door they're gonna open. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. So put effort into sending out those little emails, put effort into reminding yourself to, to let someone know that they're thought of. When I think about unforgettable people and how they've changed my life and what they've added to my business and my career, I think about a couple of people who automatically come to mind and I'm just gonna name a few of them. The first is Margie Cantor. She is the author of the Pick Your Nose book. Um, I met Margie a couple years ago, or several years ago now, gosh, time flies. And the reason Margie has been so unforgettable to me and to my career is because any time that I've asked her for something, she immediately is, what can I do to help? Not what's in it for me, but what can she do to help? Whether it's for a paint-a-thon, whether it's for Faba TV, whether it's sharing a link on Facebook. That in itself has been so instrumental to me because when I decided to do a book and publish another book with an outside author, I thought of Margie. When Margie brings ideas to me, automatically I want to support her because of her level of enthusiasm and her willingness to support Silly Farm and my companies, she's unforgettable for me. The second person that comes to mind is John Place. Now, not just for my business, but for his own business, I take a lot of uh, references and I take a lot of advice from him and watch him because he, for me, is a very unforgettable person. One, because he has, uh, he's one of the only men to work at Silly Farm and in our offices, so I give him a lot of credit for working around 24 
crazy women. Uh, but more importantly than that, John, when I, when John and I met, uh, he was a video producer and he was nowhere near a face and body artist. I don't even think that he ever touched any special effects. But through his involvement with Faba TV and his willingness to invest time in learning about special effects and practicing and taking cool pictures, he has become a force, uh, for me anyways. So he gives me a lot of motivation and now I turn to him and I'm like, hey John, teach me about silicone. Um, but one way that John was able to create an unforgettable presence, besides just his business cards, is that he takes great pictures of his work. He invests time in taking great pictures and posting them online. And instead of just posting them so he can get all those pats on the back, John posts them online and answers your questions. He makes YouTubes for you. He holds contests and he answers your questions. And for that, he becomes unforgettable to not just me, but to our community, which in turn has landed him uh, book, booked gigs, teaching gigs, requests for different designs, and that has helped his business, which also helps my business because he has no problem sharing it back uh, with the product side of it. So think about those two guys uh, and, and see how their unforgettable presence has helped them elevate their careers, and not, a, a, not in a 10 year stretch, but in a small amount of time. So here are five simple steps to get you started transforming yourself into an unforgettable person. One, determine your diamond. And what I mean by that is make a list of what makes you shine, what sets you apart from your competitors, what makes you stand out so that you can push and put forth effort into making that area of your business really thrive. Instead of saying, I can do everything good, I'd rather you do one or two things great because that's going to make you stand out and, sh and your diamond shine brightest. Two, invest five to 15 minutes daily and that means Saturday and Sunday too, sending and setting reminders for follow-ups, check-ins, commenting on someone's Facebook picture, making someone's day. It just takes five minutes to send a hello and you never know where it can take you or whose eyes can kind of light up because you sent it their way. It's a great way to market and relationship build. Three, make a list, dig in those folders. I hope you're getting organized guys. Dig in those folders, make a list of past events, organize your, the, yourself in an email and reach out to past clients. Where number two, I wanted you to just follow up with people that you may have met. Now's your chance on, on number three, what I'm talking about is now's your chance to really focus on your past clients. It is cheaper to keep an existing client than to go out and get new ones. So put a little bit of effort into them. I never used to take pictures at events, but now I make it a point to take a picture with the birthday child or even the event planner so that when I go to follow up the next year, I have an image to send with it. An image speaks a thousand words. It also, if you, they see your face again, that's an unforgettable moment. Four, spend a full day painting. Grab a neighbor, grab a friend, grab a homeless person, paint them up, take some really great pictures, get a picture release so that they don't sue you later. No, I'm just kidding. And, uh, and post it on social media. Make a little caption with it that, that has a funny joke that you can send to your clients and get people talking. Sometimes less is more and people wanna do less reading and more looking. So if you paint a really awesome picture, use that as your staple to get people motivated to book you during this time. If your calendar isn't as booked up as you want for October, November, and December, there's no reason to just throw in the towel. Now is the time to get started in becoming an unforgettable presence for this end of the season. So lastly, five, I want you guys to invest the next two weeks because the Halloween season is beginning, whether or not you want to believe it. Festivals are starting, people are doing more, there's open houses, kids are back in school. So I want you to take the next two weeks to develop a plan to upsell and book your calendar solid till the end of the year. So how are you going to do that? You're going to upsell your existing clients. You're going to put effort into making a flyer or taking a picture to get yourself ready that you can offer your services for the next 
couple of months. For example, if you're at your Halloween booking or your harvest festival or your school party, I want you to have something ready that shows what you offer and what services you offer for Christmas, for New Year, for Hanukkah, for holiday parties. Have something available ready so that you can spark the interest of those people. Don't let, don't let yourself walk out of the door and become just an afterthought. Leave yourself with that unforgettable presence. Leave yourself with, with something to give people so that they remember, hey, you know what? My company does have a Christmas party. My company does have a holiday party. And this great painter from Halloween can provide just as many unforgettable memories for our Christmas party. So think about what I'm telling you guys. These are free steps. These are things you can do. You don't need any extra equipment. You don't need any extra money. It just requires the amount of time you're willing to invest in becoming an unforgettable person. So thank you guys for joining me. I truly appreciate the support. I wish you a prosperous season. If you need me, you know where to find me. All my information is right here. Have a great day and happy painting, guys.